We live in Florida, so hurricanes obviously are a reality, and unfortunately, that's why we have to prepare and why one Palm Harbor man decided to buy hurricane-proof windows and doors. After months without a finished project, he decided to turn to 10 for help. It shouldn't move, it should be solid. Mitchell Bocchetti is frustrated. They didn't attach this framework to the house. This framework is just sitting loose. Looking at his back patio, you can see why. I've paid them about 15000 and I have about 5000 outstanding. He took out a loan for windows and doors throughout his family's home. They're supposed to be the best they got. They're supposed to be their premium line. The windows and doors are hurricane proof, so if a storm is headed our way, his family will be safe. It's, it's tough on the kids to have to drive for hours and hours to outrun a storm. That's the main driver, so it, it was... Financially, it was tough to, to be able to afford these things. But Mitchell says it was worth the investment. March 13th or 14th, I'd say, was the first time they tried to install them. The windows and doors are made by Geldwin. The installer is Armor Tech, a business out of Clearwater. There's operational issues on all three units. Mitchell called Geldwin, who came out to inspect the doors after the first install. Bottom line was that the, um, the cement that they put on the bottom it was real wavy. So contractors with Armor Tech came out a second time to try and fix the problem. I can move it. Certainly Hurricane's going to move it. But Bochetti shows us he's still dealing with problems. And the second report from Geldwin shows the problems still exist. For whatever reason now, the door is kind of split in half down the, away from the weld. But Armor Tech isn't oh. waiting for Bochetti's final payment of $5,000. There's light there. The company put a lien on his home. I needed to pay. Are they going to refer me? Are they going to send a lawyer after me? And I said, well, I better start looking for a lawyer. We reached out to Armatech, who put us in touch with their lawyer, who tells 10 Investigates the installation company is willing to go out at no additional cost to fix the issues at Mitchell's house and to release the lien on his home. Bochetti's lawyer says he's spoken with the attorney for Armor Tech and they are in negotiations. And Mitchell did a lot of things right here. He found a company that has good reviews and he didn't pay in full until the job was done. But he did sign the contract. Again, both sides are in negotiations to get this problem fixed. And that's what happens sometimes when you guys give us a call. Our goal is to at least get both sides on the same page. And that's another time you can turn to 10. If you have an issue you want our help with, send us an email to turn to 10 at WTSP.com.